Woman up. Woman up. Woman up. Woman up. Woman up. And me say double you to the O to the M A N. The woman up show for empower women. I say space to learn and to dream big. We know your word and remind you you is a big thing. And new stock 93 FM is a Sheba. Khan was the energy queen, creating a community for all the queens. We fix up your crown when it's start to lean. We fix up your crown when it's start to lean. We fix up your crown when it's start to lean. Oh, when it's start to lean. We fix up your crown when it's start to lean. Let's. Woman up, woman up, the woman up show for ya. Woman up, woman up, woman up, the woman up show for ya. Woman up, let's. Woman up, has it full of strength. Woman up, more confident. Woman up, be independent. You're right. Woman up, woman up. Woman up, woman up, woman up, woman up. I me say double you to the O to the M A N. The woman up show for empower women. I say space to learn and to dream big. If you know your word and remind you, you is a big thing. On new stock 93 FM is a Sheba. Khan was the energy queen, creating a community for all the queens. We fix up your crown when it start to lean. We fix up your crown when it start to lean. Oh, when it start to lean. Creating a community for all the queens. We fix up your crown when it start to lean. Let's. Woman up, woman up, the woman up show for ya. Woman up, woman up, woman up, the woman up show for ya. Woman up, let's. Woman up, has it full of strength. Woman up, more confident. Woman up, be independent. You're right. Woman up, woman up. Welcome, one and all, to Woman Up. Here we are on New Stock ninety three FM, and of course, newly, freshly new up on YouTube. My name is Aishiba Cornwall. Thank you so much for joining us each and every week. For all the OGs, thank you for being here with us, people. People, it's been one year. <laughs> Hold on, let me say good. It's been one year since we have been on radio. Since we have been existing in existence like this is totally amazing i feel so good we're going to jump right into it and my team and i we're gonna talk about everything woman up has been through since we've started but before we do that i'm going to invite a very beautiful young lady <laughs> here in our virtual studio right now let me ooh, add her to the, ooh, to the screen. hello monique hi aishiba well, first of all, let me be the first to congratulate you on a year of Woman Up. Like, honestly, this is such an amazing achievement. I don't even think you understand, like, what it is that you're doing. Do you realize you're the only person in your year group who has a radio show <laughs> on the radio and can <laughs> declare, like, a off air, we're going to talk, but I, I'm officially just congratulating you and everybody on the team for all the hard work and the dedication. And to be honest, it is not going unnoticed. This is, go mark more words, <laughs> mark my words. It is going to create so many opportunities for you and the skills that you've developed here. 
they're gonna serve you so well in the future it is not in vain may i tell you that oh my god thank Period. you so much for that money like honestly boy the team know money because it has been a journey yeah. um you know we've 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 had so many things happen throughout the year but we're so grateful we're so thankful and we're so happy that we're able to impact so many young women in jamaica and not even in jamaica and the caribbean people and the international if we never did know yes, <laughs> talk about the good things then no honestly and i just want to thank you so much for coming first of all people i just want to put it out there when we say hello we're right down and we say we want money for the show you yeah. I would talk about it and we say, boy, I wouldn't know if Monique go available, you know. Monique is a busy lady. But, you know, as we reached out, Monique said yes, and she was like, let's do it. And I really appreciate you for just saying yes, for being here with no hesitation whatsoever. Trust me, I Shiba, I understand. I understand. I have been in your seat many, many, many times. And so, um, to be honest, you're one of the people and in fact, members of your team, members plural, <laughs> yes, um, are amongst persons who me I watch, I me I watch you, you know, um, in terms of I genuinely believe in supporting other people who are coming behind me and you're a young woman determined and doing the things them um powerfully um unafraid truly stepping into your craft and trying against all odds trying um and so it was not hard for me to say yes um it listen if you know how many things are happening right now if other persons would have asked me they would have gotten a no wow. um, and i really just wanted to make sure that i was here to support you so people yes. were a big deal period <laughs> thank you for that monique so you've you've been here with us um just for our listeners to know and to understand who you are, just tell us a little bit about who Monique McIntosh is, what you do, like go off. Okay, so hello everyone. Here we are minutes into the conversation with an introduction. <laughs> I saw a chat, no, if it's all right. <laughs> um, I would describe myself, you know, it was this morning I was looking in the mirror and I was saying that I need to change how I refer to or speak about myself and I was saying that I've more suit a digital strategist and I was trying to figure out the words of how um, the work that I actually do fits into organizations um, but instead of going on a tangent I'll, I'll answer your question I'm a digital strategist and an educator um, I have worked within the industry for a number of years um, um, just trying to help organizations to leverage the online space, to build their brand, to develop their businesses. And a part of that love has, has extended now into the, into the education space where there are a lot of entrepreneurs, there are a lot of businesses who know that they want to use social media, who know that um, there, there are digital tools that can help them to expand and grow their business. And so I've committed time, effort, energy into developing workshops, courses, um, working alongside with universities and other training institutions like NCU and HEART, um, social groups and, and uh, nonprofit organizations like Kingston Creative, who as the core of their mandate, they're looking to reignite and to help people, help people develop. And so I'm super passionate about that. Um, and... Uh, yeah, that's a slice up. That's a little bit about me. I love that. And we're going to, of course, find out more about you as we go along um, in the conversation. Yeah. No, I, I, a lot of people would know, boy, the listeners must have loved God, Aishi, but every time it's a digital market, it's a strategy. But you need to understand why I do this. Now, I'm not be biased in people. And we do have other people on the show. 
but mm -hmm. I see the importance of people who use social or just digital technologies to make them life better. And I yeah. feel like like right now in, in this technological world that we're living in, that is so important, especially for young women who most of the times, they aren't taught these things. They don't know how to use social media to build a brand and stuff like that. So yeah. this is why I'm always getting women who are in the space, who are doing the do, to come talk to us about this. And on that same note, Monique, yeah. I want to know from you, how exactly did you get started on this journey? Like, is this what you wanted to do? Like, oh, all of this startup now. Aishiba, I want you to understand that while I am observing your process online, I'm over here laughing. Yes, me I laugh at you a little bit because <laughs> I'm like, this girl don't even understand that she is exactly where she needs to be and she just needs to chill and allow the process to take its course, run its course, and do what, what it's got to do. I chose this, yes, but I chose this out of a process of elimination. I <laughs> literally took up U.S. brochure and went <laughs> through the entire list, and when I was done, there were only two programs left. There was law and there was Carimac either to do IMC or journalism. And so it was literally a process of elimination because I either could not or refused to do anything else. Um, and as I progressed, I, I got into Karimak. I realized, yes, this is a creative field. This is a, a space that I can inject myself and my energy into. Um, and whereas my parents couldn't afford a law school fee anyway, so that helped <laughs> make the decision very, very easy. Um, as I went through the various programs, I asked myself and I realized that social media was a space that me, Monique, Jody K. McIntosh, could tap into, could explore, could do better than my seniors, could actually make an impact or do something within the space. And that's why I decided to focus on social media, even though I had the choice of doing, um, or of, uh, venturing deeper into advertising and venturing deeper into PR and venturing deeper into other areas. I chose social because I felt one, this was a space that I could use zero dollars, no money, double down, invest into and uh, make some money. No, I like that. And it's interesting, like I've heard Monique's story before now because Monique and I, we, we, we've spoken before. <laughs> but it's like every time me I hear it, me I say, no man, why me and Monique's story is so similar? What yeah. is going on? <laughs> it literally, when I started UE, and yeah. a lot of people still don't know, is law. Me, me got the people in school figure doing you know? <laughs> That's what I got accepted for. And, you know, somebody was telling me about IMC. And I'm like, IMC? IMC, let me do it. And people, oh, by the way, I didn't even say, y'all, I'm, I'm leaving with my first class honors. Let me just put that on there. <laughs> my forgot for did say it. So <laughs> it's amazing how our story is so similar. And I'm so happy that you chose social media um, to create your impact. Because a lot of us, especially as young women, when we think about social, we think, the dark side of the web, we think, oh my God, I don't want to be here. Uh, comparisons, you know, all, all the things that are wrong with social. But I just want us to talk about all the things that are good and how you can create that impact, you know, for yourself and whatever you want to do. Yeah. So in your opinion now, Monique, as somebody who is in that space, what do you think are some key benefits of social media? Especially, especially for young women, and not just young young women. I want to focus on young women in Jamaica because you know we kind of have a different lived experience than maybe somebody else from somewhere else. So, any key benefits you think um, there is to social media right now for us? Well, th the the main benefit is the most obvious benefit, which is the fact that it's free, or at least free to access, and so everyone has a an opportunity to have a seat at the table. It may not, your seat may be bigger, 
Your seat may be closer to the front, but at least we can have a seat. And for that reason, that's why social media and just the democratization, bah, bah, big words, um, <laughs> of information or even access to communication, access to people, I it, it's something that... It's something that I feel really strongly about as well, because it is so evident to me that this is the first time in history that somebody who looks, looks like me and mm -hmm. somebody who come from country or halfway to country like me, big up Golden Spring, right? Mm -hmm. um, uh, who comes from parents who... My father was a firefighter. My grandmother is illiterate <laughs> and, was a, and was a helper for all of her days. Um, and so all of her working days, my grandfather did go to England and get um, taken um, advantage of by the white people, then come back to Jamaica kind of situation. Someone who looks like me, who has no big last name, can literally change the course of history, can change so much. And so it's, it, there's a lot of opportunity, there's a lot of possibility, but at the same time, that comes with a lot of pressure, that comes with a lot of, um, there's so many options, so I don't know what to choose. I don't know which direction to go in because there's so many, I'm being pulled in so many directions. Um, and I want to backtrack a little bit. He even asked me about my personal journey and just how I ended up here. A part of that story is even understanding how these platforms and this media these, these various sources of media have evolved and changed over time. You have to understand that in 2012, when I started UE, Instagram didn't, they just launch an Android app. As in before that, they were just an iPhone, aka it was not something big in Jamaica. The big social media app at that time, and I do say app as in singular, was <laughs> Facebook. I mean, previously there was MySpace. And yes, some niche people were on Twitter doing their thing and doing tweet parties, etc. But social media was not a big thing. Most businesses weren't on social media. In me even developing and coming up through it wasn't seen as a viable career mm -hmm. <laughs> this was not taught there was not a single social media course at UE. I, i'm hoping that this has changed but um of course we used our, our lecturers were creative and so they allowed us to use social media platforms to be the um to be the channels that we were promoting or hosting our campaigns on, but there was no, no education available. I create never exist. <laughs> there was nothing available for people to even learn or to really wrap your mind around how to use it. And brands and businesses didn't want to use it. Like they were like, why am I wasting money? and wasting time, effort, and energy to be on another platform. No, I have an ad in the paper. I'm good, right? And so as we talk about people now being able to stay from their homes, and Aishiba, you mentioned it earlier, and launch a radio show that is <laughs> not being aired to Jamaicans but people across the Caribbean are watching it or even for you to get a hundred views on a video there are things that we take for granted right now and things that we're we're oh nobody watched my video or you know you get up in your feelings or I don't get no likes or whatever you have to understand 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 a little bit like if there were 20 people who applauded you and said, yes, good job after you did a presentation, a.k.a. 20 likes, 
um, you'd have feel good if a hundred people showed up in an auditorium to watch something you were doing. I think we have to understand ourselves a little bit and come a little bit back to reality um, and, and see social media as a channel. We understand it um, somewhere in the brain. We, we get it that mm -hmm. it's it is a platform or it's a channel, but the, because we use the word so loosely and because we throw it, you know, I understand this is a vehicle. This is a vehicle. This is a channel that we are supposed to be using for a particular purpose. So I think your question was going to the um, direction of how is it that young women can actually use a channel or something like social media to help them to develop, whether it is professionally or they want to do their own business, etc. The first step is understanding that this is simply a channel. And in the same way that you wouldn't just jump into a river, and expect the river to guide you and to lead you and expect to reach to your intended destination, especially if you had somewhere that you wanted to go. We can't just jump on YouTube, jump on LinkedIn, jump on Instagram with no plan, no idea, no direction, no effort or learning to say, okay, when the, when the ripples them look like this, it's going to be a little rockier. Or if, if I head over to that part of the river, it's going to be a little smoother. You have to navigate your route and try to be at least a little intentional or, you know, ped, pedal, pedal yourself a little bit or so that you can um, determine that narrative or so that you can at least reach somewhere close to the destination where you want to go. No, I look here. First of all, money just dropped a bag of gems. And let me let me let me take up one thing out of what you said earlier yeah. as it relates to even why people use the platforms. And you did mention something about education. And I feel like that is so important, Monique. Now, a lot of I'm Gen Z. Let me just put that out there. Now, apparently I'm young enough. Me young, come here, Gen Z. <laughs> but there is a generation below us, may they even know what I'm name. I don't know if it's Alpha is Alpha, alpha. right? Man, it's alpha. Right. And I don't know what's going on in their heads <laughs> at this point. But it's like I'm seeing a disconnect, for example, in how they use social. Now, when they think about social media, all they think about is using it for entertainment. And that is not bad. Me not say it bad. Me not come for burst nobody bubble and say it bad. But we need to start having that conversation, especially for us young women in Jamaica, to see how we can use them freeness here to our advantage. And the fact that you said education is so there. I mean, you, you have YouTube out there, YouTube University, where people don't know about. And I realize that video content now is becoming a thing now, Monique, where short form videos people like that and literally you can learn something in like 30 seconds from somebody from a video why not use a tiktok why not use your instagram to kind of you know learn look at something mm -hmm. build a little brand build a business something you see the thing is um just to come on to that point aishiba i think that there are many things happening simultaneously i think with the development of not just social platforms, but other digital platforms, think even OnlyFans, think Patreon, think across the board or even the, the pervasiveness of like cash app overseas and our local um our local market changing. Look at what is happening with, within the e-commerce space. Special shout out to easy payments. Bap, bap, way for persons to, um, businesses to get paid online. We are moving in the direction or it is easier today for persons to make money and make money unconventionally. So I'm also not mad at um, the generation who understands that they don't have to work 30 years in a bank or be a lawyer, or be a doctor in order to earn. In fact, if my picnic commands say they want to be a doctor, I would, I would 
pray over them and also <laughs> ask them about 50 times if they were sure and if they're because there are easier ways to make money. Like, I'm sorry, the trauma, no <laughs> to the dolly. Like, it, it, is it worth it? I mean, if you really want to do it, sure. And I will give you my full blessings. But you have, got, you have to go come good. You have to come good, right? So I'm not mad. They're coming and they're realizing that, and realizing even earlier than we did, that... Mm -hmm. Adulting, as is traditionally um, explored, is a scam. And <laughs> no, we don't have to do it that way. They're not even entertaining the thought. They're like, no, right? <laughs> so I I'm not mad at it because me feel it, it take me too long. And I feel like I'm going to drink the Kool-Aid. And I felt like, when I finished my degree, I was going to get a job and that job was going to pay me enough money so that I didn't forever feel like a pauper. So, <laughs> and yeah, it doesn't really, the traditional system doesn't really work like that. And so I'm not mad at it. Plus they have come up and seen people earn their notoriety online. I mean, no shade, but what hard work has Kylie Jenner done? I mean, she has successfully <laughs> launched a makeup line, but I mean, literally, you've, you've grown up seeing people who got, they moved from being rich to being like mega rich just mm -hmm. because of attention and because people liked and followed them and wanted to keep up with their latest antics that turned into a TV show that turned it like a sex tape turned into a multi-billion dollar family. So why can't I, you know, make a little two million Jamaican dollars? That's chump change. <laughs> compared mm -hmm. to the billions of us you know so there are many flip sides of that coin there's no one or i would caution against saying that something is inherently good or bad because mm -hmm. there are these opportunities and it totally makes sense to seize them but at the same time when you consider you have to know yourself you yes. have to know yourself because, not because, um, Kim was successful at transforming her sex tape and the leak boohoo into a billion dollar <laughs> um, franchise and bring her whole family. You don't know the strategy. You don't know the hard work. You don't know the ball in which you put down sometimes when it never did a come true. You don't know how many doors slammed in her face. You don't know how many people called her names, probably spit on her, probably talk about her behind her back, behind closed doors or in front of her face. You don't know. You don't know. And I'm sure all of those things and more have happened have happened so yeah. you see the good and a lot of the time the bad is kept behind the, the the door so you have to think critically and understand what is it that you're trying to get out of this space and which direction that you want to go um make, someone who comes to my mind just readily is like mackerel you remember mackerel yes and yes. this is a young woman who would have generated a lot of attention online, would have even been able to secure a few partnerships or earn some money. But I think because of, this is so layered, because of um, a lack of understanding of even herself um, yeah. and understanding of how she could leverage or m actually move from making a quick book. In Jamaica, we have a hustle culture. And yeah. we have a culture of pushing and making a $100 today, right now. And I understand that because people are hungry and people need to eat, right? But at the same time, there comes a point, there's a, comes a point where you need for hustle. And there needs to come a point for you to develop or for you to grow if you want to hustle all of your life, 
and be at one level all of your life, then kudos to you and you can continue. That's that. up to you. Right? Yeah. That's up to you. But you see, if you want to elevate and go to the next level, something about you has to change. Right? And so when you look at a few people who may be a little older, who still do the antics, cue in a Yanni Curvy Diva, cue in even a Spice, because every now and again, Spice do some random antics. And like, I, I have to look and I'm like, Spice, we rate you more than this. You know, if we do that, we love you already. Like you already have the 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 accolades, you already have the respect. Why would you lower yourself to do something like this? Yes, attention, yes, go on love and hip hop, but you don't have to do that. You know, if we do that. Right? And it's coming, it's on a bad mind. My love spice more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. So the love is absolutely there, but coming back to us, we have mm -hmm. to know what we are doing in order to build and grow our businesses, to grow professionally, because maybe you don't want to be no entrepreneur. I'm an mm -hmm. entrepreneur. I'm going to tell you, entrepreneur is not for everybody. It don't, <laughs> it don't look good for everybody. And trust me, sometimes I wish I was not. Trust me. Corporate, bear me, please. Because the struggle is real. You have, you have wins and you have some some valleys and some lonely times and some sleepless nights and some heart palpitations that you have to go through um, mm -hmm. in order to in order to just continue to walk the journey. And at the end of the day, not no guarantee. At the end of the day, you're working your butt off. You you don't have to get paid at the end of the month. Mm -hmm. No, you don't. There's literally zero guarantee. So it's really just a matter of understanding where you want to go. And when I say that, I don't mean that you will have the entire path cleared. One mm -hmm. thing that I would love to impart on someone younger than me, wink, wink, is mm -hmm. none of us have it figured out. And as you evolve and as you step into another part of your journey, you step into other elements or things that you've never done before things that are scary, things that push you to another greater limit that, than you've ever had. When you have the comfort and the flexibility of having your bills paid and knowing that, you know, you buy your groceries and you have your little car and okay, you might be paying rent or you get your little place and you're comfortable. Here comes the man, or here comes the pitney, or here comes a family member being sick, or you being sick. Here comes an unexpected expense. Here comes, there's always something. There's always a journey for you to, to take. So it, it even is likened onto the social media space as well. There's always a new platform and there are always people who will be more popular than you and who will be less popular than you. One thing what my awful, 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 awful talk about is comparison. You talk about things that we need to keep a check of social media and its ability to show you where people are and what people mm -hmm. are doing and you get the highlights of everybody's everything. No, I she by so it's so rich you. Don't worry. It not really reach you. It not really <laughs> reach you yet. It not really reach you yet. Wait till you still a look for your work and you see this one gun did you sell? And that one gone foreign, and that one get hired by Microsoft, and that one, mm -hmm. and then the layers and the layers and the layers and the layers. And to be honest, I I want to carry it home because the the feeling of jealousy is not the problem. It's not the problem. But when you feel those pangs of jealousy, you have to, one, ask yourself why. 
Two, you have to make a note to yourself that says, hmm, maybe this is something that I want. For those of us who are lost and are confused and don't know what they want and so many options, your body guides you. Your body does. Your chest does. Your anxiety does. Your jealousy does. And so I want you to question those feelings and challenge those feelings a little bit so that you can actually start understanding what your body is telling you about yourself and about your desires and what it is that you want and you want to see materialized for yourself. It's not it's, I really want to drive home. It's not a bad thing. If you wallow in it, it can be. If you stay in it and bad mind the other person forever and ever, amen, it definitely can be. But just the fact of feeling jealous is not a bad thing. And I'll yeah. carry myself. One is not one or two times. I open my phone and say, our bestie, Joel, in <laughs> Malaysia, in Paris, front of line at concert or meeting somebody interesting. And yes, of course, a little one time you ask and you say, Lord, you know, that couldn't be me. And then I, I, I stopped myself. I stopped myself and I literally went, you know, if Joel, one no name boy, who literally live a Spanish town right now, is doing all of these things who just go KC and him just no say more, make something better of himself, is doing this. What does that mean for me? It means it's possible. It means it's possible. And literally that reframing for me has been so powerful. And it, it means let's work together. It means let's challenge things. It means let's do stuff together. It means I am genuinely happy for you and all of your success. Because guess what? That means it's also possible for me. Because you've done it and you showed me that I can do it too. Right? Another one of my, well, Joel is actually a year below, graduated a year below me. There's someone in my graduating class who just announced a, a management role at WooCommerce. For everybody who does not know, this is the e-commerce side of WordPress. Literally the biggest website creator in the world right and a jamaican black girl mm -hmm. carry back with me and study the said course is i don't remember her official title but is joining that team and yes when i saw the announcement like a bad mind flash across my cross cross my mind but literally two seconds later I was overcome with just so much pride. I you know the question that I asked myself. I was like, what are the steps that I can take? First of mm -hmm. all, do I even want this? Do I mm -hmm. want to do that? No, I'm glad money bring this up. I'm glad they bring this up, you know. <laughs> it's a great title, it's a great role. Do I even want that? One mm -hmm. questions. Two, to say this girl who studied my degree, who is also from Jamaica, I don't know her citizenship status, I don't know none of that, right? But she has created these opportunities for herself. And it made me ask myself, girl, why are you thinking of yourself so small? Why are you putting yourself in a box that you are limiting to small businesses or small businesses in Jamaica or whatever other invisible, unnecessary box that we are putting ourselves into? And you know, it goes deeper than putting ourselves into a box because Jamaica is a very hold on place and we learn the hold down <laughs> from early. The, and the whole down is reinforced our entire lives where you're only you're not supposed to be too enough you're not supposed to do a lot of things and so 
if you are only allowed a certain level of success, a level of success that I am comfortable with you accomplishing. And when you do that, you get applause. And you get, yeah, you're bright and you're smart and you're this. As soon as you step over that threshold, <laughs> when I like you again, and mm -hmm. also the system, the infrastructure is set up so that you don't. The system, the infra infrastructure is designed to frustrate you, is designed so that you give up. That's, that's, it's, it, there is no, <laughs> there's, there are no pretty ways about it. And so we're talking about social media, literally, this is the way to create that digital portfolio, that space that allows for companies internationally to see you. LinkedIn is something that my father could have only dreamed of as a young, as a young person. Where was that opportunity for you to even see that a job post or a job listing was available in your field in the United States? How would you get that information? A telegram? <laughs> like, it's, it's laughable. It's literally laughable, right? But, but we have to understand that we have to know, that's what I would say, you have to know yourself and know what you want. Um, you have to talk to people and show up in the spaces and in the way that you want to be seen or viewed and really just it's it's about consistency it's about effort it's about intentionality um and that doesn't mean that you know where you're gonna end up no one knows where you're no one knows maybe you have an idea maybe you are aiming towards something but the careers that are going to exist in five years that are going to make sense to me and you maybe don't exist yet. The platforms that we're going to love in, in five years may not exist yet. So the pressure of trying to know exactly who you want to be and figure everything out and have all the I's dotted and all the T's crossed. You know you need to concentrate on? The script where you need to write for your show? Do that Back. to the best of your ability. The guests Back. that you need to organize to come on board, you need to call them and make sure so them organized and them set up properly. Because by having me on this show, I'm like, okay, fine. She knows how to use XYZ application. She's doing this. She's managing that. She can manage a team. She can organize and coordinate and develop a whole show. Therefore, I can put her in charge of XYZ. Mm, I love that, Monique. I love <laughs> that because the, the people, this is why I love Monique, by the way, because Monique always touch upon all over the place, but I love it because you touched on something so important. You see that little bad mind, something that we're all away having away, Monique. You see that little jealousy, we're all away having away, but don't want to talk about it. That's yeah. why I'm like your money because you're gonna talk about it. Yeah, and we, 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 I feel like we literally need to have a show where we sit down and talk about that because people always want to be politically correct and like, oh. My friend is doing this. We don't get jealous at this. You know, we, we help each other to grow. Top lie. You're lying. You're lying. Now, I'm not saying you got jealous all the time, but yeah. when you realize that you want to be somewhere and you're not at that place right now, but somebody who is so close to you is there, you're going to sit back and you're going to feel away for a bit and that is completely fine. And you know, Aishiba, the funny part of it is a lot of the time we may look on and think that somebody is there. And when you talk to that somebody, you know, you they're realize. like, no, me not dead there. I am mm -hmm. literally trying to be here. Somebody may look at you, Aishi, not me. Me, I tell you, say, people are looking on you right now and say, boy, she have she have radio show. She all right. She boy, if you did ever know. And <laughs> When you, when you even peel, you don't even have to go far. You peel back one layer or you just start digging. You realize the amount of effort, energy, and work. And you realize that a lot of the people would not 
even with the same opportunities, would not be here because this is work. It is work to show up and to be consistent and to come up with show topics and to reach out to guests and to edit the show and to design the show and to get intro video and to get music and to... It is not... All to do the little face and to pick out which shirt you want to wear today <laughs> becomes, <laughs> becomes an obstacle and becomes yeah. work. It is hard work. So some if, if we're really honest with ourselves, sometimes we would come to the realization that we don't really want ABC. We just want how it looks. Yeah. Um, that's one and two that these, these, these people who are around you, who are within your space, um, are creating just these little lights around the little inspiration, the little engine that says, you know what, this is possible. And if I want this, this is possible for me. So social media has, cre has really changed the game for me. Um, and just to see how quickly that has evolved, to see how many lives have been changed, to see how people who... <laughs> When you thought of a comedian, even 10 or 15 years ago, it looks very different. Mm -hmm. And the space that's being held for people is very different than what it is now. In fact, now you don't even need to be popular here in order to be popular on the internet and or yeah. to be making money. So... It's just there are a lot of opportunities and it's really our chance to dig in a little deeper and to just see how we can explore the space a little more um, so that it actually works for us. These spaces are just channels. Think of it as radio time. You mm -hmm. could have radio silence. You can have a boring show or you can have a buzzy show. And what's going to make the difference is what you put in. So that's all it is. It can be I, a positive I, space. Yeah. And it can be a toxic space. Whatever you add in is what you're going to get out. I love that. I really, really love that. And I feel like that's the perfect note to end our segment on. I do have one last question or yeah. one last thing that I want you to do. And that's really just to anything, anything where, 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 where they're your, your heart, right? As I know, where they're in your spirit to say to our young people who are listening, anything, it doesn't even have to remit, um, relate to social media right now, but what do you want them to know? And we're talking about young girls, 16 to 25. What do you want them to know right now? I want young women to understand that it's important for you to do things that you love. Like even beyond things that make sense for you to do um, or that create a financial reward because I feel like in me growing up, um, there are things that I love to do, and uh, a lot of the times I fall by the wayside because you're trying to be pragmatic and you're trying to be practical and you're trying to be efficient with your time and you're trying to be intentional and you're trying to reach the next rung in the ladder. And uh, it, it converts or it runs over into social as well because some of the best content, some of the best, um, the, the biggest channels, these people are literally gardening. These people are literally being themselves and sharing their personality. Somebody like a Kingsley is in the kitchen cooking. Is it because somebody's holding a big stick over him head? No, it's because he actually likes to cook. And mm -hmm. so he will spend money on a gadget for the kitchen because he won't try it. And it makes his life easier or he's going to try that, you know, extra flavored, whatever. And I find that 
men will do the football. You'll find a 50-year-old man playing football with his friends on the road. But what does a woman do? Stay and cook the dinner and clean up after the kids. I think it's important for us to reclaim our, our time and reclaim our loves and not give up on those activities. Even if that means going to a play once a month or going to a beach or taking some time to read or documenting something and sharing it with your community or whatever the case may be, I think it's really important for you to um, tap into the things that you love and possibly, if you want, to share that with others. Thank you so much for that, Monique. That was beautifully said. And one thing a lot of people just don't talk about anymore is just, as it relates to young people, young women, it's always about get that bad girl, you know, grow your professional life and all of that. But it's never, it's interesting that you said, just do what you love. If it's even forget up and go and play, enjoy yourself. Like, I really want our young women to remember that. Like, when you stop killing off on yourself, half of people, I try work and 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 for people at that. Do you understand? I'm quite literally, Aishiva, you said you said it a while ago, but I want people to understand we're literally killing ourselves. And as we get older, we tend to get unhappier because mm. we we compromise. And as a, another part of our society, we are taught to compromise. We're taught to give up and give up and give up. Right. Mm. And so, again, I think we are amongst the first generation to be able to reclaim some of that time and some of that energy and be able to say, no, I am not um, or say, hell yeah, I want to do that. And I don't care if you think it's for men or that I can't do it, but I'm going to do it or I have the money. So you can't tell me something I can't go because I'm going to go. <laughs> yeah. you know so yeah i think it's really important thank you so much for that money thank you so much for spending your time here with us today so just fun. know that we really appreciate it yeah man listen girl we need to go for some drinks so we need to do something let's link up let's link up period Look here, people, I'm glad Monique said it's become I have something for run by Monique. make sure I'm putting this on here <laughs> So this will be perfect. I'll definitely hit you up. Um, yeah. you know, after me because we definitely need to talk. And I just right now want to give you your flowers right while you're here. I would have said it to you already, but people, I remember um the other day when I was I think I was just entering final year. So I'm a my text money come say money money for talk me. I got you a crisis. <laughs> money, I need to talk. I don't know what I'm gonna do with my life. Please help me out here. And when I tell you, I think. We were on the phone for probably over two hours just talking <laughs> and just sharing with me. And look here, I appreciate that because people, who oh, don't oh, know enough people are going to say, all right, Aishi, but I will come and sit down two hours and talk about this. Mm -hmm. You understand me? So I just want to say I appreciate you. I appreciate your support. And I just love what you're doing overall with you, yourself, your life, everything. I love it. Big up yourself, Monique, all the time, every uh -huh. time. Thank you and congratulations again, Aishiba. It's I'm not trying to gas you up. I truly see the effort and the work. Um, and I know what it takes for you to even do this. And so um, I'm proud of you. I'm I'm genuinely am. And any way that I can help, Madea. Thank you so much, Monique. And we do hope that you have a great rest of your evening. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> People, that was Monique McIntosh, digital strategist, educator, every kind of thing. Like, trust me, Monique is such a beautiful soul. And I really hope that you were blessed, you know, by her words, just as I was. And trust me, I love this. I love this. Make sure to follow me on social media, Woman of JA. Because we're going to just try to get these snippets and post it so y'all can see it, save it, and keep it. You understand me? But we're going to jump right into our, our little taking it out the group chat segment right now. I'm going to ask my Chantal to jump on screen with me. Um, 
Chantal is our production uh, assistant here. And I have two, I have two other very important guests that are here and we're gonna have a conversation Lori and Chasine in a bit but let me bring Chantal up right now what's what's up what's happening what's yeah. going on we are gonna turn up a song I can't hear you now I can't hear you what's up what's up I learned awake enthusiastic I'm gonna for just follow suit with Monique and big up woman up like big enough, like big enough, big no, me can't say oh no, me can't say we, me can't say we, yeah, so, exactly. Because you're behaving like you're not a part of us. Come on, yeah, listen, <laughs> I was not a part of this initially, but when I join, I must say, yeah, man, this is it. And I just want people to understand that, listen, the work that is done at Woman Up is not just for us, it is for every little girl who are look on we and probably look like we for understand that, listen. We not have it all figured out, but we're trying to help you while we help ourselves, and that is the most beautiful. Look part here, of Chantal, my glad they said that. Listen, Maglad, yes, 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 follow Monique. You see, we you see us, and that's the thing. Social media is so beautiful. Mm -hmm. We use social media media differently, and we show ourselves. And the truth is, we don't always a skin teeth. Me for sure, not always a skin teeth, but I try to show you what is real what is yeah. real. So if you see me offline at the same thing at the same energy at the same buzz and the same thing with Aishi but Aishi you have only per compartment so she compartmental like whatever you want call her word there and she shows you <laughs> the different parts of her you might not get, get yeah you might not get um study go lucky um nerdy girl same time but you will get um <laughs> marketing guru strategist or yeah. you will get um the, 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 the little um <coughs> hi boo boo side but <laughs> 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 I know you're there that's the next to know but just as a honey boo boo I mean I'm not wrong I'm not wrong I'm not wrong the one time I'm I post one little date video all no, out over no, over no girl but you see you see just like over there so people sit down and people and people sit down and watch and see the periods and see what is happening it means that mm. you're growing because the same person you were at the beginning of the year definitely it's not going to be the same so true you're gonna be at the end. so the growth is there and for everybody who to watch oh no gonna take up something and make something on yourself make some on yourself you can do the same thing where you see Aishiba do or even better i mean i love that i mean it's, I Go on, go on. Can you know? No man, me say me love that. Me say me love that, and man, I want to ask. I want to ask you, Chantal. Like, don't so for me. everybody who know we. No hard by the way, I, wait. I, no, 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 no. It's not nothing too hard that you can manage. But a year, we started this a year ago, and this is going to be so emotional because the story yes. behind this is simply, my friends and I, we were literally going to AC. Um, hotel just to do some work by the way mm -hmm. um in one of them you know them here you can sit down and type up and look a laptop and something and we were there for the day we left and we were just complaining about everything we have to do with womanhood and we are saying some why nobody not teach you this why do we keep having to go on google to find out stuff about how to become a woman you understand mm -hmm. me if you're not have no close woman family member your mother not teach you certain things you're not going to learn it or you have to go just find some other ways and that I'm was a problem true. Mm -hmm. that was a problem Chantal and I mm -hmm. said you know what let me do something about this because fine since yes. nobody's gonna do it you. let me do it <laughs> and that's how Woman Up was formed and this part is going to be a little emotional now because yeah. when I had this idea for, for those of you who are listening you know my best friend um, Kareem Medley yes yeah. He passed uh, earlier this year in March. March. But when I came up with the idea, I ran straight to him and say, yo, I have this idea. What do you think? And he was literally just on board. He was like, let's do it. You understand me? He's somebody who is so into youth empowerment, women empowerment, and, and men's empowerment. And mm -hmm. he was yeah. like, let's just do it. And when I tell you, Keisha, big up yourself. I know you're going to hear this. Big up yourself. <laughs> Me and me and Kareem the day would dress up nice like some executive and would go down a Keisha walk down there from upper towers and we gave her the the what we wanted the structure the show what we wanted to talk about and Keisha was mm -hmm. like I love it go ahead that's all she said I love it that's go ahead sure? you understand me mm -hmm. and one year later we are literally here 
not even now on the radio, but with upon YouTube, with our ah. big. And and people are still no, not yeah. just hearing our voices. But I say all of that now to say to you, Chantal, you weren't here with us at the very beginning. You joined us um a little later down in, in, in the year. Why did you decide to do that? That's my question. Right. Um, many persons probably, I mean, people message me all over and say, you know, how oh, can I come on this or oh yeah part of this and I'm just like I support I support the youth, I support young women, I support people who want to make a difference. And I saw that um in just the how you guys presented yourself on social media and just the the, the interactions that I had prior to. And I was like, you know, it's better to be a part of something that can make a change than to sit back and complain about something that I see. So I was like, you know what? I could try. And a friend of mine, a friend of yours, Shadia said, girl, you know, say, you can't go on, you know, you probably can't help, you know, you can't. And I said, girl, I don't know, I don't know how to write a script. I don't know how to get guests. I said, I don't know how to work the machine thing. I said, what me? Chantal Brian, I go for a woman. Woman up, go do. But, I mean, Sometimes you have to step out in fear because it was fear for me. But you step out in fear, you do what it is that you can do to make a change. And I mean, we're not just here on earth to exist. And I've learned that we're not here to just exist and take up space, but we're here to do something of purpose. You might not know what your purpose is. Yeah. This might not be my purpose, but gotta help if we fix that and you know yeah this might be aishiba's purpose and the thing about it that i love and i appreciate aishiba you are not selfish about uh, what it is that you're doing and then i mean people see this and see us here and whatever but the backstory the amount of cars we have to make we have to make between one another you probably can't get everybody at the same time because we're busy but at the end of the day you reach out and say guys i have an idea this is what i want to do and i'm grateful that you include us I want people to understand that it's not just a one thing and a one woman around the show and the rest around the back. We are yeah. included and I appreciate it. I know if Chanel did the right here, so now she would have said the same yes. thing. I know Kareem would have done so and go on with himself. Oh. La, 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 la. Look here. It would have been like, hard. oh, it's hard, no. <laughs> <laughs> But yes, that is, that's, that's all me. That's, that's my reason for joining womanhood. Woman up, oh, sorry. It's becoming a lot of womanhood. And woman, yeah. <laughs> So that's my reason for joining Woman Up. Yeah. Thank you so much for that, Chantal. You're most welcome. This is so beautiful. Right now, I'm going to add two beautiful ladies to this to the stream. And I'm still gonna have some stuff to ask Chantal a bit later on, you know. But I'm adding okay. two two more ladies to the stream right now. Um and oh my god, I love this. I just love that setup here. Like for all those who are listening to us on the radio, I'm so sorry you're not wow. able to see this beautiful setup right now. But you can you can go over YouTube when you get the chance, Woman Up JA, and you can rewatch to see these beautiful ladies on screen. Um, we have Chessine, McDonald, and Lorian Cooper. How are you ladies feeling? What's going on? Hi, hi. First of all, I just want to say happy anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> but um yes it's really it's really a pleasure to be here to celebrate with you and to just you know absorb all that's going on and to share with you to hear from everybody um i'm doing good nice to see you nice to be here you know so yeah just excited for everything excited for where this is going excited for the future the growth all the niceness and to even just be an own a part of it i take that as a huge honor and i'm just very grateful to be here that's so beautiful thank you so much for that lorian and chessine how are you doing what's up what's going on Joy of sunny person i um Look here, I'm French that dumb. sorry yeah i French that yeah. dumb. <laughs> <laughs> so i speak french i'm, I'm gonna confidently say it. i speak french um, it's really a pleasure to be here with you all tonight. 
um, listening to Monique and then hearing Chantal, I'm like, wow, I'm so, so proud of Woman Up. I remember when Aishipa shared the idea with me. I was like, yes, girl, I can do it. Just do it. Just, just do it. Like, <laughs> yes, this is what we And I was like, all right. So, and I wouldn't have been able to be a part of how I would have liked, but I watched, I listened, even if me that wake up really early in the morning to listen, because they know with time zones and everything. But I'm I'm so, so proud of you all. And I'm happy that so many young women around the world are, have this opportunity to, to be able to listen and engage with you guys as we all walk along this journey while we try to figure it out. Thank you so much for that, Chessine. And I am so appreciative, like Chessine and Lori. So Lori would have been on the show before and, you know, she would have listened in um, and so on. And Chessine is like, whenever Chessine can, Chessine is always listening. And I feel like I appreciate that so much because at the time, Chessine was in France. I would know how the time, the time difference with Jamaica and France, like it not cute people. So for her to just get up and to be there supporting us, listening, you know, giving her comments, she's always um on social, engaging with our content and so on. Like it is so beautiful to see, and I really appreciate that. And Lori, Lori, Lori came on the show. I'm gonna say Lori, Lori, come with our book. Lori, come with our pen and Lori have notes that they know it just attack. I'm gonna say period. I should just have throw the gems them on air, and I'm so appreciative of that. And you know, Lori, I want to jump over to you and ask you right now, it's one year in. By the way, we're not do half of what we want to do yet. Let me just put that out there. So for everybody who thinks say, <laughs> woman up is doing such a great job, watch us. Watch us. That's all I'm gonna say. Watch us. For you, Lori. Why, what, why, what do you think the importance of a show like this one, of an, of an organization like this one is, especially for young women in Jamaica? Where to begin? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, honestly, a show and an organization like this, like if it's already, as you said, doing this, imagine how much more it can do. I feel like um, somebody said it earlier as well um, in that in us trying to navigate womanhood, um, you will have a few persons, you know, like some of your female um, family members, like your aunts, your mother, they try their best, but they can only teach you so much and no more because um, for one, they were grown in a different era, a different period of time. Things are very different now. So while they would have passed on certain things to us, um, some of those things may not be the best or the most helpful while they do try their best because we are navigating in different times. So the fact that this organization exists now with young women and the ability to access other experienced women to pass on more um, updated and recent experiences and more helpful things that persons probably have not discovered before to actually have that and package it and to pass it on to our young ladies that is something that is very amazing and i feel like certain things people believe like it's like unspoken rules or unsaid things but i feel like there are certain um you know conversations and experiences that women actually would benefit from from having conversations about them so the fact that this exists to literally give you the key to womanhood or sometimes it's not even a case where they want solutions to things it's just to know that somebody else out there is experiencing something that they are and that in and of itself just makes you feel so much less alone and that there are other women out there going through the same thing and you're like you know what if so and so is going through this and wow other people are going through this that means that i can do it too and i can do so much more and i can fight this and i can make it through and I feel like that will just create such a healthy space for young women to um, to become more confident, to become more empowered, to do so much more. And you will find that the young women will now start to take charge of their lives, their experiences, and to just become themselves, like literally in the form of their womanhood. So I just feel like this is an this is an amazing thing that you have done, and the fact that you're bringing other young other women along with you that's even better. It just goes to show and solidify what you believe in and you will see for yourself how much, like, girl, I'm just waiting for when McKenna's be like, <laughs> can I have your autograph? Because, like, <laughs> it's just going to be something that's so amazing 
and I'm just sitting over here and I'm just I'm waiting. I'm patiently waiting for it, you know. We're here for it. Aww. But look here, more wants a ball. One <laughs> thing what Uno Uno is going to want to make me ball. Look here, I appreciate that so much, Lori, because Chantal had said it earlier where it's like we don't know everything and we all like that's a disclaimer that we have now because we hear a woman up and we're helping to navigate womanhood means so we know everything that is far from the truth and we're always that transparent i think what makes us so special what makes us so different is that we're learning along with you and i feel like that i don't know about uno but that just made me feel closer to the woman of family for no say oh uno i go through this too and y'all y'all are learning with me as well this is so special and you know i love that for us i love that for us period <laughs> <laughs> right and for you chesine i i want you to think about it a bit i know you're you're always listening thank you again so much for that do you remember any at all any of your favorite moments from the show like i know there there probably like are a lot but do you know any do you remember any of your favorite moments from the show i think um while you think about that i can go first like to be honest i have so much but i think my my first one would be our actual first show i don't know if anybody um was there for that or remembered but it was in studio when mr the little studio pack up like 10 million different people everybody a part of the team meeting each other for the first time it was so special we had dj marnie look here i don't know if y'all know dj marnie but she is the biggest baddest dj ever she was in jamaica for a while and she's back in the uk doing her dj and djing stuff and she's doing amazing work but for her to just come and to she wasn't expected to share by the way she was just there and she's like all right i'm gonna do the dj for your music and thing but she shared about her life how it is being a dj um a, a female dj in 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 a space where it's, it's mostly male dominated and for her to share her experience and everything and wanting other girls to to jump into that sphere of djing it was just so beautiful seeing everybody there it was so good and we just wanted this time as well to just big up my entire team like every single person like from the producers to people who help with the production um assistant the script writers people who help with social or audio engineer big bag dj daddy b big up yourself like i am guys i don't think you understand i'm like oh my god this is just so beautiful but yes justine over to you what has it's been your so favorite moment choose. it's so hard to choose i really <laughs> enjoy i really enjoyed the session with the financial analyst i can't remember her name but she was at the whatsapp i think that's um, kalila reynolds yes or i enjoyed her session because i really listen like as a woman upcoming woman more and more to spend more money <laughs> and also <laughs> it, like i'm thinking about vacation but one thing that she said to me was that you know, we might want to take vacations now, but then later in the future, if it is that we invest the money, then, you know, we'll be able to vacation and do all that we wanted to do. And that really stuck with me. Um, the session the other day with Josh and Lee, that was also great about friendships because, you know, it's really, I don't know, like the stage that we are at and the transitions that we're making at this point in time, sometimes it can be really hard to maintain and manage friendships. So I really love the advice that she gave. And of course, I love when you had DL on the show for Valentine's Day. <laughs> oh my <laughs> God, yes! Yes, listen. It was really, really great. And I don't remember the lady who came before him, but she is, uh, she was, uh, she's, um, take a note, like she's a matchmaker in Jamaica and she explained her process. And I was like, whoa, this is really interesting. Like, I didn't even know that even existed. So I was like, wow, like, listen. <laughs> The shows have been really excellent. Like those who are just joining, like listen, you need to catch up. Like we've been having a, a lot, a lot of fun. And to the team, of, like honestly, the guests, everything has been top, 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 top tier. Oh my God! Thank you so much for that. You know, sir, just seen I'll just remind me about the matchmaking show. My Jesus, <laughs> hello, Mister Woman of Ton matchmaker for the night. It was so beautiful. <laughs> And you know, these are the things that we want to be talking about. Literally, like I'm not seeing I'm not seeing organizations talking about relationships. Let me tell you this. Lord of mercy. Hey, <laughs> what Chantal there? <laughs> Where is Chantal? When I 
when I think about relationships, um, I would have said it before. When I started UE, I never did meds no boy. I may put that out there. So I'm not meds no boy. Because I come to school, I may do my thing, I may want to live with my first class. You understand me? But somehow, somehow this one gentleman was able to. I don't know what he did. <clears throat> but he was able to do something. <laughs> I, I really don't know what it is. You know, but he he's such an amazing person. And I realized that even in trying to grow our friendship, along with our relationship, it was very interesting. It was very weird because this is not something I would have done before. Nobody never really teach me how to do them. Look at something here. And me, I say, then I want me to learn this from me. Just I go Google all of them something else. Like, am I, am I going to, when I get mad at my boyfriend, what do I do? Google. <laughs> Google, what do I do? You understand? So having DL and even that matchmaker, uh, matchmaker come on the show, teach with certain things. We even had a young married couple on the show putting that out there. They were telling us about their journey, how they started, um, how they met each other, how they ventured off into them relationship and then they got married, talking about the issues that they had been so open and honest with us on air. You know, see nobody else that do that, people. It's woman up alone they can get them something here from. You understand me? And there's so much more to come from all of this. And I'm so just appreciative and grateful for all the persons who stuck around. All the new people who join, I love that. Now, Lori, I'm going to jump back over to you again. Now, me want to know from you, Lori, just as a woman, as a big woman, where you want to see woman up going when we think about 2024? Like, what you want to see we do? What kind of impact you want to see we make? Like, what is the vision for you? Island tour. Here you now. So, I see woman up, right? Blowing up to the point where it's, it, it goes beyond just us wanting to impart on young women, but young women requesting from us to impart on them mm. the impact that we are having right i see us being featured quite a lot on the various medias news outlets all of those good stuff and young women i want to see a movement like i want to see in the digital space or specific digital footprints you know said that right there that is a ricochet effect of woman up, you know? Like, given the brand color, I just want to see pink everywhere. <laughs> I just want to see pink. And Period. I, I just see, like, you know, like getting into the nitty gritty of stuff, like going beyond the digital space, but of course, dominating the digital space as well. So I really see big things, like, honestly. Like, that's how much faith I have in this and how how much I truly believe and see in the vision and like really and truly what this can accomplish. Like just. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Thank you so much for that, Lori. And trust me, we're well along the way. Like we, we, you see, this is why you're here. Like we have the same vision, like you're thinking like us. And I love that for us. <laughs> Look here, I just want to ask you both, right, as we end this segment and we, we just jump on back with Chantal, I want to know from you both, what would you say right now to a young girl that you, you just see her up on the street and you ask her, you listen to Woman Up, you watch Woman Up? Like, what would you say to them to encourage them? Look here. This is what you need to be doing. You have to be doing this every Wednesday night. Like, this should be a part of your routine if you want to be successful as a woman. What are you going to say to them? Chessine, I'm going to go with you first. I know I'm putting up on the spot, you know. But what are you going to say to them? <laughs> um, I guess, what would I say? I mean, being a woman is already hard. Being a woman in Jamaica is already hard. And the fact that there are young women who have been brave enough to get on the radio to talk about issues that, you know, really affect us and try and find solutions, you know, to improve our lives as we all work together to become women that honestly, like, there's no better place to be. I mean, you're learning from persons who are also learning and with the different experiences that you're going to hear from, it will help you and me not to make the same mistakes that other 
others have made in in the past because honestly <laughs> there are so many things that we could have done better if it is that we have somebody else you know they say you know you never have to do it this this particular way or this is what you could have done something else so it's not just a radio show but it's more of a community and if it is that you want somewhere that you can belong you know this is definitely the place to be every wednesday night and there's even more, more than the radio show i mean come on guys look out look out i love that over to you Lori. Honestly, the, as you asked me the question, I'm such a marketing student and it shows because the first thing, <laughs> please tell me what the first thing pop up in my head is like an ad, like I'm saying, all right, I have an ad pitch, 30 seconds. <laughs> and I'm just like, <laughs> figure it out. Do you, are you where you want to be in life? How many young women do you know who go through the same experiences that you do? All right, the answer to none of those questions is no. Woman up every Wednesday. You have... <laughs> access to tips and tricks from some of the most amazing and important women you could ever imagine please here's the link see you on wednesday i thank you period as a marketer yeah. <laughs> This is so beautiful oh my god thank you so much ladies for being here for sharing um with 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 us the woman of team as well as our listeners we really do appreciate it thank you so much for the support always bigger and better things to come trust me trust me guys yeah and <laughs> Tr yeah for, for bringing us along with your journey we're all super proud of you girl we're just here behind you anything you need we're right here ready and charged and waiting and the, for the opportunity for all of us as well Thank you so much for that, Lori, Chessine. Thank you both so much. And, you know, we're going to do great things together. So just, just stay tuned and, and, and we'll keep in touch, definitely. Amazing. So, ladies and gentlemen, that was Lori and Cooper and Chessine McDonald. You know, they are really, I'm going to say really, really amazing. Big fans of Woman Up and just two wonderful ladies who are a part of our community. And Chantal, we're just going to take this home right now. And we are going to just talk about what we see happening with Woman Up next now. And from like a team standpoint. So okay. we've been here one year. We have done one conference we've done one youth conference which have impacted 200 young people and that youth conference had me um as the founder as i sheba but I, I i've always told my team that this is our award uh we did get a partnership impact award from the u.s embassy in jamaica for our little event yeah period claps 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 that's completely amazing and we are able to impact over 30,000 people on our radio airways hear every that? single Wednesday. Wanna and hear that, that is completely amazing. Mm -hmm. That impact. is completely amazing. Look here, girl, by the end of the year, more here, 100,000. Yes. By the end of the year, more Lord. you're impacting 100 persons. <laughs> yes. It is not going on any deaf ears. It's out into the universe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's going to happen. You know, it's going to happen. Mm -hmm. But but for you, as we end right now, um, mm -hmm. Chantal. Yes, ma'am. Given what we've been doing, what kind of work, and this is just you as a young woman, uh -huh. and you as Chantal a part of the team what kind of work do you want us to do would you mm -hmm. want to see women us do woman up do in our little community that we formed online and in the physical communities that when i know we're gonna definitely be going into um well when you ask that question you ask uh lorian miss mcdonald <laughs> <laughs> um what came to my mind really was uh, clubs like a like like club in schools that's that, that's what came to my mind um i know that is not far fetched but um, i'm just looking at it and i'm just like you know this could be you know something that we branch off into clubs i don't know how we're going to do it but i mean there can be a day 
that you know it's a woman up there yeah guys make sure you say you meet down at, um <laughs> meet down at the tent to three o'clock i'm a president with a vice president i mean just that's just another niche and and that's where you get to reach the young girls if you want to call it that because i mean them are gonna have, they, they, we all have issues tell me a club that you had in high school that was really and truly taking back the layers to allow me to step into womanhood i would None. love to know when None. you about it you let me know um, None. and i think and down i said children are the future children definitely are the future but in this situation we want a lot more confident women you know, we want a lot more women that are assertive, a lot more women that are not going to, um, you know, think twice about their worth. And it just, it takes, a, you know, so it takes a long time for we figure out worth. I am a go a grown woman and it's taken me that long to figure out my worth. If I had figured that out a little bit earlier, probably I would be, I would have been a better woman today. I'm good now. I'm good. I'm a good woman, but I'm just saying. Um, yeah. I look at it like that. I I will say the island tour is a big thing. I appreciate that idea, Lori. <laughs> um, and just a lot more like focus groups. If you want to call it focus groups, I mean, I don't know how to explain it, but I mean, just just a lot more um sitting down table talks. It doesn't have to be something that's formal that like you capture um you capture up on a big thing and we have a one media launch or whatever. No, just some mm -hmm. little focus groups. So while we have been putting ourselves out there, we can have some you know smaller little intimate things um yeah. from time to time. But woman up is not small. We have big woman in here. Yeah, okay. I would think I got big. Um, and the work is being put in. So everybody that's watching, just understand that the work is yeah, Ashiba put the things them together. Oh, quite literally. Yeah, literally. Literally. So stay tuned. Stay tuned. Big things coming up. Yeah. Me not think, me not think me and Chantal ever talk about a club idea, yeah? I doubt we ever no. have. I, no, I, I've never I literally been. had but the same know. idea, girl. Like, I think I was we even did? talking to... Me not know Lori, me did talk about it today or yesterday with... Probably but we were talking I mean... about... Yeah, I was telling Lori about it, and I'm like, I want to see women up in schools. I want to see some clubs. I want to see us venture into you know the regional space the international space and like yeah. that is how big we want to go like this another yeah. little double double thing and mm -hmm. what we're trying to do with our organization is to focus on sustainability because after me gone after chantal gone mm -hmm. i expect to see other young women who are carrying this and continuing yeah. with it. you understand mm -hmm. i want I us to continue with this yes definitely yeah. legendary okay. mm -hmm. people <laughs> Stay tuned. That's all I have to say because this is going to be amazing. We're going to start creating some more awesome impact and you, you're going to want to be a part of it. Yeah. And I think tomorrow we're, we're going to be launching something very, very special. But yes. I don't see how I yes. Yes. But tomorrow, just make sure and stay tuned to our, our socials at Woman of JA. I want to thank everybody for tuning in, for listening. You know, the place to be on a Wednesday night is definitely Woman Up. Woman and up. we're going to see you next week. Same time. This same is place. Same yeah. place, same time, people. Yeah. My name yeah. is Aishiba Cornwall. And we have Shanta. And we're tuning out. Bye. Bye. <laughs>